Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video we're going to see how we can connect remotely to a site using the solution of EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor. For this example what we're going to use is the Harmony HMI ST6400 to connect from our laptop to the site, that in the site would be the HMI. So if we go to the presentation here is the solution that we want to provide, okay, the remote access using the solution, the Secure Connect Advisor. And in my case, what I'm going to do just to test it and show you how, we, how it works, we're going to use the HMI going to the router and then to give internet to my laptop, I will use my mobile phone. So the first thing that we need to do as we saw on the previous part of these um, presentations, open the gate manager, connect with the link manager, and then connect to the site. This is how we need to do, connect the link manager, select the site that we want to connect, and then connect. So if we go now to the example, Okay, this is the HMI. I am pinging to, let's start again. Okay, going to ping the HMI to disconnect it. Okay, we have the link to the HMI. Okay, so let me just refresh. So this is HMI, the AP address of the HMI. And let me just double check something. There is okay. So now if we, the link manager is already open, and then connect all. If we connect all, we should be able to here to see that we have the connection. Okay, which is good. Good. And now what we can do as we have the connection is to download a new application to the HMI. So let me just open the example project that I have. What I'm going to do is to create a new variable here. I'm going to use uh, integer bar one, okay. going to show the value here select the variable new variable okay two ways uh, let me just change the size so probably you can open it and see it let me just check the okay this is HMI And I'm going to send the project to the HMI. So we already have the connection to the HMI. As you can see, this is the IP address. And it's still connected over here. OK. So what we need to do now is to download via Ethernet to the HMI. Select. This one is still in the HCP. The transfer method, what we're going to change. In the past, we have USB. Now we can use Ethernet. OK, and this is the IP address. So let's download this to the HMI. OK. Yes, it's downloading. OK, keep this information. It's downloading. And let's see what happened on the communication. Successfully. OK. You can see the HMI is booting. Of course, we lost, we lost communication here because it's booting.
Okay. Let's refresh. Okay. Now we can connect again. Now, if we connect, this one should be established once again. And you can see here on the screen, the new application is installed. And now let's see what happened if I can access to the um, to the application to the web server. Okay, so the IP address is one nine two uh, four six. Just have a check. Zero four six eighty eighty two with you. Okay. As you can see here we have the complete access to the HMI. Okay. This number eight zero eight two can be found in here. Okay. Is what we have configured in the past. Advanced data access here, 8082. So this is the remote control, remote access to the HMI. You can see in both the screen, the real and in the target, it changed. Okay. So this is how you can get access to the remote side and make the modifications to the HMI. Let's go back to the presentation just in case to see if I'm missing something. Okay, and now what we can do in this exercise, this part of the exercise is to add the direct link to the web server of the HMI. So we don't need to so we don't need to wait and type on the web browser the IP address and then the port. So let's go back to this, okay? So what we need to do is to open the site manager and configure the direct access. In here you can find this, okay? To configure all the device, the device agents, okay? We can add a new one and let's type HMI web access, okay? And instead of generic log tunnel client or desktop PC, what we can do is do web access. And here we need to specify the IP address of the HMI and the port. So this is the name that we'll be able to see in here. At default, we have this one, full access. So save, okay. If we go back here and refresh, you should be able to see this one, okay. And here, if we press, we should be able to get access to the web server with GUI of the HMI. Probably I need to disconnect and connect again. Just of a check. Mm -hmm. I think I have a problem with my internet. Okay. Okay, it's ready now. Okay, my cell phone is working once again. It's ready. Connect all. 
there we go so we are connected once again so if we click in here you should be able to open the web server directly so here we have the communication and just change the view okay just to show you that it's working again okay it's working and if i press here on site it changed the value so as you can see here this one is different from the one I'm using here so instead of using this we can specify the direct access to the HMI okay so let me just double check one thing here <laughs> okay disconnect now, if we don't want to connect everything, you can connect directly to this part. Okay. Then you can connect here once again. And that's it. Disconnect and disconnect everything. And you can see here that I don't have the access to that port. So this is how you can configure the remote access to the HMI. And in our case, we also add the web access to the HMI to see the application and see what's going on. And we can also operate that remotely. And if we don't want this, what we can do is to go outside manager again. Just close this side manager again. Let's refresh the page. This is what happened when you use the mobile phone to connect. Okay, good. <laughs> Come on, once again. Yep, I have some issues here with my mobile phone. Okay, try to refresh and make the connection once again, just to show you how to delete this. Site Manager, once again, okay, we can delete this with this button over here, okay, we can delete this agent and then we can add a new one, in case we want it, so I just want to show you in. As you can see, my internet connection is not so good. <laughs> HMI, web access. Okay. Let's put the IP address once again. Save. And when you save, you should be able that in the left part, you will see the status of the agent. Is it starting and if everything is fine, you should be able to see this one in idle. So, refresh, idle. Okay, good. Save. If we refresh this, I have already created, so it's good. Connect. And we have the access once again just to show you that it was something in my 
connection with the smartphone okay so this is it how we can communicate with the with the HMI in a remote way using your laptop in my case I have used the hotspot to connect the laptop and the HMI to my router to make the connection so thank you very much for watching me and if you have any question or any doubts you can contact us by email or by phone to here thank you once again and I hope this video is very useful in your daily day work Thank you.